Hello everyone! Uh, if you ever opened a chess book, chances are you've already seen this game. But if not, if it's definitely a pretty cool game to see. Uh, it illustrates very nicely uh, how, how to exploit back rank uh, weaknesses. And uh, this was played in 1920 in New Orleans. This is uh, Adams vs. Torre. And the people are arguing was this game uh, ever played or is it some sort of an analysis, but uh, it, it doesn't really matter. It's, uh, it's definitely a game to see, whether or whether or not it uh, was it played. So Adams goes e4, sorry, uh, e4, and Torre goes e5. We have knight to f3 and d6, the, fi uh, the Philidor defense. Uh, d4, e captures on d4, and now queen captures on d4, not knight captures on d4, like in the opera game. Uh, we have knight to c6, attacking the queen, and bishop to b5, now pinning the knight. Uh, bishop to d7, and now white plays bishop, captures on c6. Uh, bishop captures on c6, and okay, black has the bishop pair, uh, but uh, white has this beautiful d4 square uh, for his queen, a very nice central square. Uh, white plays knight to c3, uh, knight to f6, uh, Adams castles, uh, bishop to e7, and now knight to d5. And, uh, okay, here black plays uh, bishop captures on d5, we have e captures on d5, and uh, Torre also castles. And bishop to g5. And, uh, okay, what does black play here? He, he goes for c6, he wants, to, he wants to take advantage of this uh, isolated d-pawn, uh, well, soon to be isolated d-pawn. Uh, we have c4, uh, d captures on, uh, c captures on d5, uh, c captures on d5, and now rook to e8. Uh, we have rook f to e1, uh, developing the rooks on an open file. Uh, we have a5, and now rook to e2. Uh, Adams is preparing to double up rooks on the e-file. Uh, rook to c8, uh, putting the other rook on, uh, on the other open c-file, and here Adams plays a uh, rook uh, 8 to e1. And, uh, well, um... Black's idea now is to play queen to d7, and uh, after the bishop moves, uh, and rook captures on e8, so rook captures on e8, so the queen doesn't have to capture on e8, which would be silly. So he plays queen to d7, and uh, here Adams plays bishop captures on f6. We have bishop captures on f6, and now uh, this is the idea Tori had, that if rook captures rook, uh, simply rook captures, rook captures, queen captures, and, uh, well... Uh, with a threat of uh, queen to e1, this bishop is very nice attacking b2. Uh, this would be perfectly fine for black, probably probably a wrong game. Uh, but the problem is, after bishop to f6 attacking the queen on d4, uh, Adams, play, <laughs> Adams played uh, queen to g4, and uh, hence the title, uh, take my wife please. Uh, he's offering his queen here on g4. And, uh, well, of course, the queen cannot be captured. If, uh, if the queen is captured, then simply rook captures on e8, and uh, this leads to checkmate after this rook captures on e8. So, uh, after this uh, queen to g4 move, uh, black can't capture. So, he, he played queen to b5. And, uh, well, uh, here, uh, the queen is uh, defending the rook on e8, and, uh, well, also attacking this rook on e2 now. Uh, but here, Adams plays a uh, queen to c4. Now offering his queen on c4, and uh, again black can capture with the queen or with the rook on c8. Uh, but whatever black plays here, if he captures the queen, he gets mated on e8. For example, rook captures and rook captures with checkmate, like that. Very nice. So after queen to c4, uh, Torre played queen to d7, running with the queen yet again. And uh, well, Adams continues uh, <laughs> to try and uh, to try and offer his queen. He plays queen to c7, and uh, well, the black the black queen is almost out of almost out of squares. Uh, again, if if the rook or the queen captures uh, the queen at c7, uh, black gets checkmated on e8. So he plays queen to b8, and uh, here Adams plays a4. And uh, well, what does what does black play here? If uh, if he plays anything uh, other than grabbing this a4 pawn, uh, he loses the game instantly. Uh, so he does, he plays queen captures on a4, still guarding this rook on e8. And uh, now Adams plays rook to e4. Now he's offering uh, the queen still on c7, uh, he's attacking uh, black's queen with this rook. And uh, well, what does black play here? Uh, <laughs> only move the engine is giving is actually rook to f8 to, to somehow stop checkmate. Uh, but he doesn't really have anything. He has to go queen to b8. Uh, now the queen no longer has this fourth rank available. And uh, here, Adams plays queen captures on b7. 
offering his queen for the final time and uh, now the black queen has no more squares uh, this c6 square is unavailable d d7 is unavailable a4 is unavailable and uh, well whatever black plays either if he captures the queen this leads, leads to checkmate and uh, even if he doesn't after queen to b7 for example uh, what can he play? He can play uh, rook captures on e4, uh, n of course not capturing the queen, but queen captures on c8 with check, and uh, well, there is nothing for nothing for black to play here. Queen to e8, queen captures with check, rook captures, and again, uh, the game ends with rook to e8 checkmate. So yeah, uh, after queen to b7, of course, uh, Mr. Torre resigned and. Uh, like I said, it doesn't really matter if this was a real game or was it an analysis, it's it's definitely uh, one of the greatest. So yeah, uh, it, this was a short one, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, as usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Uh, thank you all for watching and uh, I'll see you soon.